new at six, a premature baby born in plantation at just 25 weeks back in June got to go home today. It was a big day for the doctors and nurses at Broward Health Medical Center who had treated the little boy for months. CBS 4's Francis Wang has more on his miraculous recovery. Meet Ramir Hezekiah Eusebio Devilis. After three months in the NICU, Ramir and his family are getting ready to go home. This team is amazing. Zing. Ramir was born at just 25 weeks. He weighed only two pounds, four ounces. Three months later, he would be transferred to the NICU after developing necrotizing enterocolitis, a common complication of premature birth. He lost practically his entire intestine. What that meant for Ramir is he wasn't able to eat and absorb the nutrients from his food. And this carries a higher mortality of 80% in these babies. Ramir's intestine has now more than doubled to 4.7 inches, and he won't need a transplant. Going home with actually double of the size of the intestine. Ramir's mother, Rachel, was praying for his survival after already suffering a devastating loss. You see, Ramir was born a twin. His brother did not survive. After he passed away, I really didn't know, so all my energy was going to... Ramir, and that's how I started to heal. Rachel says it was her daughter, her mother, and Ramir's medical team that got her through what felt like the darkest of days. It really has been a hard journey. It really has been hard. Rachel says this moment is one she thought would never come, but prayed it would. And we do know that God is real, and as we can see, he is real. And Ramir is now six months old and weighing around 12 pounds. More good news, his liver numbers are now normal and there are no signs of any sort of liver disease. In the newsroom, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.